Ludicrous Feed is proudly sponsored by Car Loop Data and Cobra Car Insurance. Okay, we found the Lotus showroom. There's a Lotus Emea in there. Lotus Elytra. Nice. Okay, we're allowed to go inside the Lotus store. Good. I want to see these cars. Ooh, it smells nice in here. <laughs> it smells really posh. Oh, this is a beautiful car. Gosh. Emea. And there's the Elytra. Classic green. Yum. And there's another Emea. In the flesh. Nice. And here's an Elytra in black. Gorgeous. Okay, so Hangzhou is a lot more vibrant compared to the other places I've been to so far. There's like a lot more cars, a lot more people. Feels like quite busy, so I, I like it. I like it a lot. Electric buses, they're very quiet. All the public buses are electric that I can see so far. Here's a Wuling Mini, I think, coming into shot. The streets are actually pretty quiet because a lot of them are EVs, even the motorbikes. Oh, this one, is it? Toyota BZ3. There you go. On Safari, I, spotting I cars. I've around with the future of AR. Everything's just being described to me. <laughs> yeah, I'd have to say Hangzhou is probably one of my favorite cities that we've been to so far. It, it's a lot more vibrant, it feels more organic, uh, less fabricated. Um, yeah, I just love it. I love the hustle and bustle. It feels like, now it feels like a, another Asian city uh, in a good way. It's still very clean. It's um, still very peaceful. Obviously with all the EVs, it's still very quiet, but I just love it. It feels very natural. People here look very relaxed and very scenic as well. It feels like it's, it's uh, evolved over time in a good way. So yeah, I love it. World Heritage. Okay, so check out this room. By the way, this um, whole hotel is pretty funky. Some of the uh, deco is pretty cool. We'll check out the lobby in a second, but um, let's have a look at the room. It's um, pretty special as well. So let's have a look inside. The blinds moved up uh, when I came in earlier, when the light switched on. Um, I'll show you some of the, the furnishings. It's a nice old school trunk there. I wonder if this opens out, or is that just decoration? No, it's just decoration. Um, some sliding doors here for the bathroom. Wow, the colours. It's very Zika, isn't it? Very uh, avant-garde, very new. New but kind of like cool in a new way with some tones of, uh, some old tones. Okay, toilet room, shower room. And let's have a look. A lot of orange, quite warm. Crystal ball. Slippers. Funky hotel. Funky, that's what I was after. Funky. It's funky in a good way. Wow, look at this pet. Wow. That is something else. Wow, look at the rug. Okay, a bit of nightlife in uh, Hangzhou. Pretty busy, pretty vibrant. This is their main district. Pretty busy, a lot of people. This is more like it.
快点，快点，快点，快点，快点。All right, this is uh Shibuya in Hangzhou. Okay, we've arrived. That's a pretty cool area. People just hanging out and chilling. We are having Shake Shack for dinner. Let's see what that's about. We've been uh, talking about this old trip, Shake Shack, so I'm gonna try it out. Okay, so just around this mall here, there's a Mini Cooper S. Electric. There you go. There's a charge port in there. And then across over here is a Nino store. So we should definitely go check this out. It's quite a treat. ES6, ET7. Riz is checking out an ET5. What are you spotting, Riz? Oh, look at that interior. It's driving itself, Riz. It's, it's happening. Look at the acceleration. <laughs> look at the power. Nice. What's the center screen look like? Yeah, it's rectangular. Let me hop in the back. Let's go. Let's drive back to Shanghai. Where, where can I take you, sir? <laughs> I'd like to go to uh, Shanghai, please. Wow. Does that thing rotate? Or is that yeah, oh, the portrait mode? Yeah. 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 Interior is good. Very premium. Yeah. Functional. Yeah. Sound system. Dancing away there. This is on the Snapdragon processor. Glass roof. It's got the battery swap stuff, man. ET5 from the back. Camera there. Reclining seats. ES8. Mm, that looks pretty good too. Executive style seats. Yeah, I think the Neos have got uh, quite a distinctive shape. Here's the ES6. Looks like a SUV. Mid sized. All the interiors look pretty good. There's an example of the Neo. Uh, swap station. So check this out. So when Riz just has to touch the door handle, it'll open. He's not even pulling that. That's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, it's the software like on the screen. Slight touch. Wow. Pretty roomy in here. Cameras on the roof. Look, they all have it. Cameras on the roof on this one too. Same with this one. That seems to be a recurring thing. Yes, Tesla store. Yep, might as well go check it out real quick. See what they have. Oh, look, Tesla Cyberquad. Cyberquad. <laughs> oh my god, new Model 3, Model X, oh we missed you, oh we've got the uh, Model S, new Model S, Riz is excited now. Nash, you watching this? <laughs> Nash, this is for you mate, the yoke. Oh. Charge port.
Works during perfect for content creation. See right through. So check this out, this is a cyber vault. So this basically locks a charger, like a you know, Gen 3 wall connector inside this. So they basically no one can access it, right? It's like a secure vault for your charger. But then you can still put your plug there, right? That's cool. That locks the actual charger, yeah, cool. Uh, Model X. Also yoke. This one's definitely for you, Nash. All right, so this is the Lee Auto store. Go inside and take a look, why not? Lee Auto L6. L9. Ooh, big screens. Captain's chairs. Comfy. Oh, the auto charger. Okay, Kaima. Okay, okay. Ooh, seven seater? Yeah. Not huge. Actually, a six seater. Six seater, my apologies, yes. Auto charger here. Nice design. 5C. So this is uh, Lakeside. Pretty popular spot. Pretty busy. And we can see some illuminated structures here along the water's edge on the other side. It's quite picturesque. There's a boat on the lake. All right, so here we are outside the X Hong store in Hangzhou. Let's go in there and check it out. Okay, so I've got the uh, X Peng G6 here, the one that's coming to Australia. A few details for you to look at. LiDAR, light across the front here. X G6. What have we got here? Cooper tires. These are running on 18 inch. X pen. Flush door handles, front and back. Oh, the seats are down here. Not too bad on the inside. Certainly a roomy boot. Let's go have a look at the boot. Oh, glass roof as well. That's good. X pen, detail. Charge port, let's see. Oh, yep. Yeah. There we go. They all start to look like that, right? They all sort of flip open automatically. x pang Bagging on the back. G6. Ultrasonic sensors. We've got a camera. And a button we can press down here. Let's have a look at the boot. No rear wiper. 60-40 split. This is starting to look very familiar. A lot of the brands have this lift. So obviously the same supplier. Boot lighting. 12 volt. Speaker back here, expert. Reclining back seats. No wiper, as I said. Let's press that. Soft close. More x -plane. Let's have a look at the back seat. Yeah, look, it's probably, you know, mid to high premium sort of spec. Cup holders, probably back here. Yeah. USB-C plugs there. there oh, this is very curious. This is a round design here. And got the glass roof, of course. Yeah, I mean, the material's not too bad. Looks comfy enough. Very ruby. It's a leg ring. Front screen. Pretty premium. Premium looking, anyway. Wireless chargers, steering wheel. Let's go around the front. 
this door shut test. Not too bad. Frameless door. Seat controls. Got uh, cup holders. Power. Seat controls. Pedals. Steering wheel. Expo. We've got a uh, binnacle screen, cluster screen here. Obviously, we'll uh, take a better look when it does come to Australia eventually, which is obviously due in, uh, in late 2024. Left hand indicate. Mm, feels pretty good. Gear shift. Looks very Mercedes like. Okay. Nice. All right. Well, that should be good. Oh, a little, uh, little monitor there as well. Cool. Shall we look at the front? Let's have a look. Okay, can't see your storage in the front here. Got uh, There you go. Wipe the fluid. Okay. And we shut it. Double close. Yeah. Okay, so we've got rear reclining seats, but uh, it's manual control. So, let's have a seat. <laughs> yeah. So I can uh, manually pull this. See you later. <laughs> and bring back up as well. So that's good, nice little feature there. And flat floor too, it's good. And uh, some uh, charging ports here as well, under here. USB-A, USB-C, 12 volt, 80 watt max, and a bit of storage down here as well. Nice see through. Yeah, not a bad offering here from uh, Expo. Oh, we should have probably have a look at this too. I said armrest. Storage, pretty deep. Nice. All right, well that's the Xpeng G6. Looking forward to seeing that in Australia. Lots of different colors on this board. And this one's a G9 SUV. Have a look from the back. This one hopefully will come to Australia as well. We love our SUVs in Australia. And then this one is the Xpan P7i. Pretty sporty with the Gullwing doors. Have a look at that in a second. All right, there it is from the front. Pretty sporty. Pretty similar, cameras everywhere as well. Uh, yeah, wireless charging, fragrance, interesting in the front there, center screen. All right, I'll do one more test. Let's open the door. Nice. And then you can actually use the brake to unclose it again. So what is this? Ooh, that's nice. Oh, and the door's moving forward. See, it's moving forward, sorry. Nice. And then I open the door like this. Oh, yeah. Nice. All right, well, that's the uh, Xpeng P7. You can also close the door like this as well. And the door shuts like this. Okay, last stop on our walking tour around Hangzhou is the Huawei store. Let's have a look inside. Aito, M7, big SUV. That's a big SUV actually. And we've got the uh, Aito M5. And what's this one? This is the M9. Seven seats. And then the rest of the uh, Huawei store obviously is selling phones. Wow, look at the screens in this thing. One, two, three screens. So this one's only got two screens. Let's check out the boot size of the uh, M5. Pretty big boot. Pretty impressive from the front, the M9. The M7 from the front, and this one is the M5 from the front. Nice in the lighting, huh? Let's have a look at the uh, M7 boot size from the back. 
to do that, you press the button here under the rear wiper. Oh, that's nice. quite a bit boot actually. Yeah, decent size. All right, well that ends another huge day here in China, here in Hangzhou. Uh, covered a lot of ground as you saw in that walk around, so I hope you all enjoyed that. Uh, tomorrow is our last day here in China, uh, late flight out of Shanghai, so transfer from uh, Hangzhou to Shanghai tomorrow. And uh, yeah, hopefully a, a pleasant flight back to Sydney, Australia. Morning everyone from the canopy by the Hilton here in Hangzhou. Look at the ceiling of this beautiful hotel. Pretty funky place, kind of a, a different style to what we've seen so far on our trip. We'll go for a walk first and then uh, check out breakfast. A lot of nice detail here. It's a bit of a travel theme and a bit different there as well. Some art deco I saw as well on the hallways. All these little critters here are kind of cute. Fancy bar. Bicycle, selling Moven pick. Some more nice detail there. Yeah, just the rolls parked outside the hotel here at Canopy Hangzhou, Westlake. So this is where we're staying. Porsche Taycan parked outside as well. And, uh, this one's an EV as well, Luxeed. I think it's uh, done by Huawei. Let's have a look at the back. Yes, it's a Luxeed uh, S7. That's a motorcycle, right? That's a scooter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a tuk tuk. Look at him go. Look at him go. Oh. Which way did he go? Do you want to go that way? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That way? I think it's better than this. Yeah, I love it. It's still going. Rest light for the airport. <laughs> All right, so let's check out the uh, breakfast buffet here. We've got pastries there. We've got some salads there. Over here we've got some hot dishes, some noodles here in the Bay Marie's, some veggies, more veggies, eggplant, oh I like this stuff, broccoli, Chinese broccoli, and toast, milk, let's see what's in these, um, these uh, things, these vats, okay. Steam buns, some porridge, some eggs, baked beans, more food, some eggs again, sausage, bacon, yutiao, and some coffees again, and some coffee. All right, everyone, I'm back at Shanghai's Pudong International Airport. It's been a fantastic trip. Learned a lot about the Zika brand and just about China in general. I just want to thank um, the team from Zika Global and also Zika Australia for hosting myself, Riz, and many of the other members of the media and press here uh, in Shanghai, Hangzhou, and Ningbo. Uh, we've had a great time, and uh, hopefully you enjoyed my travel series, as well as learning about the Zika brand as well. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, happy charging.